This video is brought to you by Vessi. Alright, don't judge me. Huh. Hey folks, how's it going? Today I'm talking about Zootopia Plus, one of the newest shows, series, special? I don't know what the hell this is. I, I guess it's a miniseries? We'll call it that. The newest miniseries on Disney Plus. So, in 2016, Zootopia came out, and I loved it. I truly loved it. I thought it was a fantastic film. I know, shut the hell up. I liked it for the reasons why I liked it, okay? Yeah, I like Anthro, and I thought it was done very well. The way they incorporated the entire predator and prey thing into the, into the film, about stereotypes, about, oh, you're a small bunny, you can't be a cop, or, hey, you're a fox, that's all you're gonna be, is a sly, sneaky, conniving fox. And it's like, we're using these characters, these animals, and what they're about to tell a story, about how stereotypes are not absolutes. I wish I did a review for Zootopia back in the day. I wasn't quite there yet, I was late on that, but here I am now with the opportunity to sing its praises, because I love Zootopia. The film did so well that it broke a billion dollars at the box office. That's very, very good. For an original IP from Disney, like I know they get with Frozen and whatnot, but Zootopia, that's a bit of a sleeper hit. And I guess that's why we're seeing Zootopia Plus. Something worked, something was appealing, audiences and critics alike love the film. It was a bona fide hit. And now we have Zootopia Plus. Six shorts, around I'd say five minutes to eight minutes in length each, that are up on Disney Plus. I wish they were paying me to say this stuff. I don't want to praise Disney, but I do like Zootopia. So I watched the shorts, and I gotta say, the charm, the style, the pacing, just everything about it, I'm here for it. Some of the shorts I thought, okay, they're okay. I, I thought they were fine. But the cool thing about all these shorts is that they all are connected to the Zootopia film, of course. But I mean like the actual movie, not like after the film, not before the film, but during the film. It's like Lion King one and a half, where you got like Timon and Pumbaa doing their thing in the background during Lion King one. Six shorts, and they all complement the main narrative. The first one's about Stu and Bonnie, the parents of Judy. They're saying goodbye to their daughter, the train. Oh, oops, one of their other daughters, a baby, got on the train, and now they're just gunning their truck down the road, recklessly trying to save their kid. I just saw the one place in a sheep that has no wool. That was fun, thought it was cute. Uh, good world building for Judy's family. Makes me want to see Judy and Nick like start dating in the next film and bringing Nick to go meet them for dinner or something. Like that entire awkward, the parents meeting the boyfriends. Folks are like, are you shipping Judy and Nick? Yeah, I am. What are you gonna do about it? Bite me? The next one, I'm starting to do this out of order, but there's a musical with Duke Weaselton. I believe that's his name. I always get confused between Weaselton and Wesselton. That's like an inside joke for the Disney animators, uh, the same voice actor who provided the voice for the Duke in Frozen, and then the Duke in Zootopia. Wesselton, Weaselton, I think it's Weaselton in Zootopia. It's Weaselton. But he does an entire like song and dance about how he's like, I wanna get money, I wanna get rich, from like being a car salesman to like doing stocks and being the wolf of Wall Street. I thought that was fun, a fun musical number. And also um, the end, you've got like this, this old character walking across the red, I'm like, that person's gonna get hit by a car, and lo and behold, that person did. That person, that that animal. I guess they're a person. I do appreciate that Zootopia, as far as its sense of humor goes, they'll have some fun. They'll do some things that I'm like, they're not playing it safe. <laughs> Someone got hit by a car. Cool. Uh, there's another episode about like the real housewives, the mouse wives, that's right, of like uh, Rodentia. And you got it about like uh, the, the godfather, the shrewd father, Mr. Big and his daughter getting married, how she has her friends. They're doing like the entire like, oh, it's a Jersey thing, you know, it's the housewives of Jersey. And there's like, one like mouse character, uh, her name's Mandy. And they're doing all the introductions. They get to her and she's like, hi, I'm Mandy. I just got out of jail. I just got out of prison. Love it. I love that kind of sense of humor. It could really catch you off guard. That particular short was cute. I thought it was fun. I'm a big fan of Little Rodentia. I'm a big fan of Zootopia just in general, where it's like, logistically, how do you pull this world off? And like, the writers and the animators 
and all the artists involved, they really thought it out. It's not perfect, but they put so much effort where it's like the desert section, the frozen section, not that frozen, the rainforest, Rodentia. Uh, it, it's like complicated. Like how would this, you know, how could a person, a mouse drive a car down the road and not get run over by an elephant? It probably happens, but at least they're making an effort to try and world build and explain it and the logistics of Zootopia. I appreciate effort and I think it's clever. The next special I believe is Clawhauser. Uh, I think that's the one where he's like daydreaming. That's the actual, the spoiler. Spoilers in this, by the way. Clawhauser's like, oh, I get to be a backup dancer for, for Gazelle. I gotta go to like this America's Got Talent, Zootopia's Got Talent audition and try to get the Chief Bogo to be my backup my backup he's like oh well, i'm backup police officer a surprise bogle you're a backup dancer and uh, by the way these two are gay as fuck uh, i totally ship them um i actually watched this zootopia plus like all the specials with a friend of mine who's a huge zootopia nut and i was like do the, does, does your fandom like ship these two and he's like yes they do e emphatically <laughs> you came back. a chief never leaves his backup behind no, that was a cute special. It's like daydreaming and then jumping around and playing and goofing on stage. And and it's like, you know, oh, yeah, that's how it'd go down. And then you wake up and it's like, oh, didn't happen. And then it snaps back to the film where Claus is like, Chief. And then you see Chief dancing with the phone being like, no, don't look at me. So again, all these stories, all these specials go back into the film, which I know the big hang up is like, what's the big draw for Zootopia? Judy and Nick. They aren't really in this special, really. And if you do see them, it's them just kind of in the background doing their own thing. It all is supplemental, which for some folks, I'm sure they're like, oh, I don't want that. I want to see some more Judy and Nick. And I'm like, you know what? That's valid. But take heart. I think that this special is a vow of confidence that we will get a Zootopia sequel or a series of some sorts in the future. I hope a movie. I want that quality. And, and as far as quality goes, the specials themselves look great. Like they look like it's movie quality. So, I mean, I appreciate that effort, the resources dumped into it to make it look good, because it would be sad to see them step down in quality, because Zootopia is quality. There's a special called Dinner Rush, where you got like Flash, the uh, the sloth going on a date with Priscilla, the ones who work at the DMV. You got this cute little otter girl named Sam. I thought she's adorable. I'm a sucker for a girl with an Australian accent, but she's like, I'm gonna go to the Gazelle concert. Um, Does this sound offensive? I'm sorry if it does. I'm just stupid. I'm stupid American boy. She's like, oh, I'm gonna go to the uh, Gazelle concert and I'm gonna be gone 30 minutes. I've used my life savings, so I'm a server and my life sucks. And then the, 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 the sloths walk in and, and she's like, oh, okay, shit. Now I gotta like, like rush this through and try to finish my shift so I can leave. And it was all disaster. It's like, what do you do as a server with a time crunch with sloths who are just that slow? And also being romantic, the sloths are like, they got fuck me eyes. Look at that. Look at the tongue action, spit action. It's cute because it ends with Flash like proposing to Priscilla. I think he knew her for like two days. Maybe not. Maybe they've been fucking on the side for a while now. I'm being unnecessarily horny in this one. I'm not even horny, but I, I apologize that my rhetoric is making folks think otherwise um i'm going to hell someday my favorite special though was uh mr big the the, the godfather and it's his story about how he came from the old country to the new country to, to, to zootopia and he's and of course like mr big is big time satire of the godfather trilogy he is the godfather in the first film and uh, and the godfather too uh, that, that's about also the main character in the first film i see the main character you know, the marlon brando character going to the new country and and that's what it's parodying and i loved it because they're like me and grandmama we got on the boat and went to zootopia and the waters were rough and it's like a tire they're on with the rat people the mice and then like the camera zooms out and it's just a puddle being <laughs> rocked around so you know relative to them it was rocky waters but to us it's like it's just a puddle i thought that was cute they have a lot of fun with the size differences of the characters where this is what life looks like for an elephant and then this is what it looks like for a rodent and i think it's fun they're clever with it there's a lot of universal appeal with anthropology characters with animals because every single human knows about an elephant they know about a rat they know about a fox or a bunny that's just a universal thing that we know and can build on and it's a common denominator and it has broad appeal and zootopia from a narrative point of view with its characters with its story with its themes with its message to its animation just across the board fires on all cylinders and zootopia plus supplements that so well there's no place for vermin like you in this city
I'm forgetting one more special. I just know I am. What was it? There's six of them. I don't want to look it up. I I, I want to remember Bogan Clawhauser, the shrewd father, the godfather of Mr. Big, his daughter, uh, the, the runaway train with Bonnie and Stu, Duke Wesselton, his song number, and there's one more I'm forgetting. And I hate that I'm forgetting it because I want to remember. It makes me feel like not remembering means it wasn't memorable, which is not the case. I'm just dumb. <laughs> Where was Walter White though? You know, with Doug and, and, and Jesse and Walt, the sheep in the meth labs, the meth labs, quote unquote, the night howler labs in Zootopia. The thing is, I just got to Breaking Bad recently. So now like I rewatched Zootopia and I'm like, wow, Breaking Bad reference in Zootopia. They're in the RV making drugs uh, with a character's name, Walt and Jesse. How about that? And I, by the way, also I was talking about this irreverent humor where it's kind of like, we'll have fun, who cares? At the very end of the Mousewives episode, the shrewd daughter of Mr. Big throws her bouquet and actually has like nine howlers and it hits her bridesmaids and they go freaking nuts and start attacking at the wedding. Love it. I love that kind of humor. All right, where are you? I'm embarrassed for not remembering. Or it's very possible folks that I literally can't count because I think that I did recount all six episodes. Hop on board with the parents, the real rodents of Little Rodentia, the, the mouse wives. You got the Duke musical, the godfather of the bride. So you think you can prance and then dinner rush. Yeah, I remember them all. Okay, good. I thought my memory was failing me. So I guess to summarize it, it's a very sloppy video and the sloppy review, which I'm very much so leading with my emotions because I'm having a good time talking about this. I love Zootopia. I hope we get a sequel. And I think it's one of the best anthro movies ever made from the character designs to the world itself, to the story, to its themes and what it's trying to say about stereotypes and stigmas and rising above them. So I do recommend this series. Check out Zootopia Plus. It's very good. So is the movie. And here's hoping they make a sequel film as well. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you all think down in the comments and I'll see you all next time. All right, Walter and Jesse are back. So I'm leaving now. It better have the extra foam this time. <laughs> So a big shout out to this video sponsor, Vessi. I've taken my Vessis all over the country this year. Hell, I even jumped from a plane with my Vessis, dropping 14,000 feet from the air with my stupid face. And look, there they are, comfortable, secure, with excellent durability. For me, I'm rocking the men's weekend Vessis in asphalt black. And I brought them with me on multiple trips this year, to the airport, to the desert, to the streets of San Francisco, and of course, into the sky. I wasn't expecting that, but hey, they had my back. These are legit tough shoes that breathe well, fit comfy, and look stylish as hell too. Not to mention that Vessis are 100% waterproof. Rain, water, water parks? Ha, <laughs> no problem. Vessis are made from Dimatex, which is a dual climate knit material that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in colder weather. I got to experience both in the desert, with like the sand on the ground being hot, but then being freezing cold in the airplane in the air and also falling through the sky. So I highly recommend Vessies. They are my go-to shoes by my door. Also, Vessi is giving away a free pair of socks to the first 100 people to use code SOCKSABERSPARK. Don't punch me. It's the other kind of socking. That sounds dirty. They're also having an early Black Friday sale right now. Check them out in the link down below before they run out. I'm gonna go fall out of the plane now again. Ah!